I'm Matt Moore for the Action Network, and let's spread the floor. When the NBA made its rule change in the offseason to increase the penalty for the so-called take foul, bettors were curious what the impact might be. Would overs be up as teams had to actually try and defend in transition? Would the market overreact to the change and provide value on the unders? The rule change disincentivizes take fouls by ruling that if you make such a foul, it's one free throw and the opposing team retains possession. Adding at least a point on average to any position is killer, and so teams are staying away. So far, we've only seen one take foul called. But what's been the betting impact? So far, there's nothing to write home about as a general trend in the macro. Overs are 50, 46, and 6 this season at 52%, so a slight but unimpressive edge to the over. However, if we start to tailor this to specific players, we're seeing something a lot higher. Let's start with Giannis Antetokounmpo. I don't know if you know this, but Giannis is an absolute monster. He's the most physically dominant player in today's game, as well as being second in MVP odds at multiple books. Last season, Antetokounmpo averaged 4.3 fast break points per game and 8.3 via Synergy Sports, including points drawn from free throws. This season, that's up to 10 points per game in the first two Bucks games and a whopping 12 points per game, including shooting foul, free throws drawn. But he could have scored so much more. Teams habitually chose to simply opt out of trying to defend on a combo in transition last season by just giving the take foul. Better to just get the train off the tracks and stand in front of it. But when Giannis gets downhill this season, if you're not able to use the take foul on him, he's getting to the rim, period, and dot. There's just no way to account for his combination of length, where he covers the floor in just a few strides, speed, and strength. That one take foul that's been handed out this season? Yeah, it was Giannis that drew that one. Giannis manhandled the Rockets on Saturday, and while Houston's defense leaves a lot to be desired, Giannis still racked up nine points in transition in their season opener versus the Sixers. Giannis is an obvious example, though. Some other players who stand to benefit from this include Steph Curry, who's hit his points over prop three straight times to start the season, and Devin Booker, who was fourth in backcourt fouls last year and has hit his over twice so far this season. Booker averaged six transition points per game last season. That's up to nine this season. We're still waiting to see how teams will adjust going forward and for samples to settle in, but don't be surprised if poor transition defensive teams give up higher opponent team totals and if specific players show that they're better primed to take advantage of a rule change that lets stars be stars.